Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here. Do a quick reading for you. So let's see what's going on for you in money and love. Uh, thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. Money, love. All right, money, queen of swords. So trimming the fat. You know, where you can cut down your expenses, you're doing so. You being the executive in terms of your expenses, you're over it. Um, you also could be starting something new. I heard getting people out of your pocket, or you know, this could even be children, this could be a loved one, husband, um, subscriptions, like you're going through your um, maybe bank account and figure out where you can kind of cut this off. Yeah, five of cups, maybe the emotional spending or the emotional eating. Um, with the five of cups here, uh, loss. This could be loss of job too, or opportunity. You're looking over the loss, or you, you're cutting out something that was a loss here, or you're getting over it. Some of you had to lose work, or you lost out on work because you were sick. Um, you also could be uh, getting over being sick. Um, now you're getting, you're, you're well, and you're ready to get back out there. Again, that's like loss of work here. One more card for. Gemini in terms of their finances okay king of pentacles that's my male Gemini so um, it looks like you have money you have money stored up um, you know how to make money you if you're a business owner then you started your business by just doing your own thing putting yourself out there you know this is somebody who has money who has financial security by their own hand someone who systematically that means they had a system of how they operated or how they did something. It was in line or in order. Something's not out of order. You're being very rational with your finances also. Um, logical. Doing the rational and logical thing. Let's see. What's going on for love for uh, Gemini here? Okay, the Eight of Cups. You may have checked out from a relationship. Maybe with a Scorpio energy or... You just had some deep, transformative, emotional, you know, woo within yourself. And you're just like, I need to let this go with the Eight of Cups here. Self-analysis, analyzing yourself. You may even be telling yourself, I need to get a makeover or, or lose weight. Or you may even be telling yourself, like, to stay in this relationship or this cycle with this particular person is me disrespecting myself. So I'm getting out of it. I'm checking out. I'm walking away. I'm not even walking to another relationship. Maybe walking to singlehood, but at least I'm walking away. This is walking away out of um, an act of self-respect. This is also finishing something up and then moving on. Maybe you're gonna finish up, you know, the lease or the mortgage or the marriage, or um, maybe you're gonna wait till a kid gets older. Um, and then you're going to move on, but somebody's already emotionally withdrawn, checked out. Uh, and you have your reasons. Other people don't really know your reasons, but you have your reasons. All right, what else is going on in love for Gemini? The three of swords. Yeah, this could be divorce, separation, isolating yourself, alienating yourself. Somebody misrepresented themselves. This is misinterpretation also. Like when you talk to this person, everything just gets misinterpreted or this is how they feel about you. When you speak, it just gets, you know, nothing. We're not getting to any common ground, any clarity. It's just a whole bunch of words being said. That Scorpio energy coming up again with the judgment card. It's like um, there's some final judgment being rendered, being made. You are absolving somebody of maybe they're wrongdoing you're forgiving them but you're also deciding to move on this could be aquarius or the age of aquarius or the age of awakening enlightenment you're getting enlightened to you yourself to what it is you should be after or going after this could even be listening to the spiritual awakening or the call to go higher you know to higher consciousness um learn something put yourself in a different different mindset this also could be at the universe asking you to decide if you want the relationship or not get the queen of wands coming up that's my female gemini card you're getting back to um yourself to getting out there to being talkative to hanging out to looking good dressing well um presenting yourself being charismatic funny all of that 
um, because you just don't have faith in some relationship moving forward. Let's get you some advice and then close out here. Somebody wants forgiveness and you're going to give them just that. It could be you, it could be the other way around. Yeah, helpful people. So there's some people who can help you, you know, come out of this or help you transform your body or help you do whatever it is. Yeah, because it's like on the other side of coming out of something that was stuck, stagnant, no growth, not going anywhere is big, happy changes. So congratulations, Gemini. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, get your own personal reading. Go over to the website, book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you. Take care. Oh, readings are on sale, 40% off. Use code 40OFF at the website level. Thank you.